My name is Kai, Kai Arne, and I'm the CEO of the MariaDB Foundation. That's an intro I had to say about once an hour at Cloudfest last week in Rust, about one hour south of Frankfurt, where we were present to have back-to-back -back meeting with many, many cloud service providers, hardware providers, and, and others. What I also had to say at the beginning of each of these meetings was that there are two entities, MariaDB Corporation, or now PLC, noted on the New York Stock Exchange, which is a for-profit entity. But we are MariaDB Foundation. There's about 10 people working for MariaDB Foundation, and we're working on openness, adoption, and continuity. By openness, we mean that we keep the code base open. We have uh, the keys to the GitHub repository with all of the source code, and we ensure that people who want to contribute to the database server itself can do so with a code base that is open based on technical merits only. And adoption means that we work for MariaDB server to be the database of choice, namely the relational database of choice and an open uh, source one uh, for all uh, contexts. So we are in that sense an alternative not just to other open source uh, relational, uh, relational database systems but also to closed ones. So that's about uh, our mission. We are supported by sponsors. Sponsors come in several different flavors. Yes, we have the MariaDB Corporation as one sponsor. We have IBM, uh, Microsoft, ServiceNow, big Chinese uh, uh, hyperscalers, Alibaba, Tencent. We have Acronis and uh, Schaffhausen Institute of Technology. And in particular, for this CloudFest audience, we've recently signed up WebPros and IONOS as uh, gold sponsors of MariaDB Foundation. The way you probably get exposure to MariaDB Foundation is, for instance, through our download pages. So chances are that you get your version of MariaDB through uh, MariaDB.org downloads. You also interact with us through the patches that we get from uh, other contributors, and you can interact with us at events such as FOSDEM or this CloudFest. So the first chat uh, on this video will be with Mikael Videnius, with Monty, the founder of both MariaDB Corporation and Foundation. Hi, Monty. Hello. So what was CloudFest like for you? It was very nice. Uh, it was the first uh, event uh, for me after Corona. They were interacting with users and not with developers. And there were lots of users uh, who had even 100,000 of MariaDBs installed and were very happy with us. And they kind of wanted us to succeed and that's uh, why some of them become sponsors of MariaDB Foundation, which makes me very happy. So you, you make a distinction between users and developers, I suppose, by developers, you, you, yeah, what's your definition of a developer and what's your definition of a user? A developer is somebody who produces code most of his time, while a, a user can be a DBA or a SaaS provider. And you sometimes also make the distinction that a, a developer who develops code for himself or for his uh, applications can be a user of Maria. It can be both, yes. But it's a different audience, usually with developers you talk at low-level problems uh, while I'm with, uh, with, uh, and how to solve them. Why with uh, like SaaS providers, you, you talk about their pain points, which are totally different. So you were at our booth, we had a booth at CloudFest. What kind of comments did you get at the booth? Most people were just happy to, and, and surprised to see uh, somebody like me there, who actually has been part of uh, uh, creating the internet, which is uh, something I'm quite... I still don't understand, but it's nice to see people recognize uh, some of the work I've been doing. And uh, it's also very nice when people come, and say, come in and tell them that it's thanks to you that I have a job and so on. So it gives you inspiration to do even more. And you shared your inspiration on stage. You were called a legend there. Uh, you had a stage uh, interview. How was that? 
Yeah, I, I assume that uh, legends is a nice way to say that you're very old, but uh, and or you have been part of uh, this a long time. But it's it's, it's nice, and the interview was uh, interesting, and even we even got some good questions from the audience. And that was right after Boris Becker. Yeah. Whoever he is. Whoever he is, yeah. He's, I think he's a I tennis never, legend, but... Yeah, I never heard him develop anything. She also got exposure uh, through the meetings. So we had back-to-back -back meetings. W w what kind of questions came up there? Uh, the, the, some of the questions or the answers, like, like the relationship between the foundation and corporations, but also that uh, why is the foundation so important for the ecosystem? And uh, without... My belief is that without the Maria B Foundation, Maria DB wouldn't be as popular, especially among developers. And we get lots of patches from them, and that helps keep Maria DB relevant. Because uh, when we do open source project, uh, the best way to be relevant is that you have close interaction with your users, so you know what they want. Because uh, it's very hard to be a prophet without information, and they provide the critical information you need. And there were several types of, of, of meetings there, I suppose. Some of them were with just huge numbers of, of, of users. There were also some... Were you present at some of our meetings with um, CSPs from other countries? Like, no. uh, so I will, I will share some ideas about that, that myself. Okay, other countries. I will be talking about other countries uh, outside than, of Europe. Well, other outside Europe, most, this is a Germany-based event, so mostly outside German, but, but like farther away with, with languages where, uh, which are not uh, uh, like other than English and German or French. Like Turkey. So. I mean, I did, I did speak with lots of, uh, uh, several uh, users uh, of Maria Dibia from Turkey who was very happy with us. And did you notice any difference? Like, is it, are they, do they have very much the same problems or, or is it something individual with them? As far as I have seen, both developers and DBAs, they are the same all over the world. You don't see any notable difference. Uh, there's uh, very little culture difference, which I, makes it very easy when you are traveling as much as I, I do and you want to meet a lot of people. You have a common ground to talk on. And do you see, uh, have you made an observation about the need for communicating in other languages than, than, than English. I mean, the, the audience that you're talking to, yes, you call them users, but they are very much techies. Uh, English is fine. Have you, or have you noticed situations that we would, where we would, as the MariaDB Foundation, would need to be more present, show more presence in other languages? I think that uh, uh, when you talk with DBAs and, uh, and developers, English is fine. But we also need to spread information about uh, MariaDB to universities and everything else. And there you need to have material in their own, own language. And we, I think that one of our missions should also be to help create such material, to spread the usage of MariaDB everywhere. And my observation, I went to a number of meetings with uh, uh, people from, from countries like in Japan or, or Middle East and uh, France and so on. The, the observation I have had is that, uh, yes, it's fine with techies, with DBAs and developers with English. They, they don't mind it at all. But uh, their bosses and their users sometimes uh, ask questions about what MariaDB is. So they would also benefit quite yeah. as the universities. Um, so... Were you surprised by any of them? Was this like what you had expected or did you get surprises and aha thoughts yourself as well from, from the new insights from, from the chats? I didn't really know what to expect uh, from uh, the conference. Uh, in the beginning, I was standing at, at the stand, the well, Foundation stand, quite a long time. And my observation was that maybe one in a hundred uh, did know about MariaDB, but those who did know was really, really, really happy for us. And just come and gave us compliments about how important we were for the ecosystem and we should continue with the good work. And that was fine. But uh, usually when I go to more user-related uh, conferences, uh, the presenters who knows about what the database is and MariaDB is, is much higher. But the happiness was much, per person was much higher here because we basically uh, helped them with their um, work life. So they were more surprised to see you than you were surprised about their uh, yeah. 
responses. And then there were social events. So can you share something about the social events at, at uh, Cloudfest? Not so much. Uh, we had some problems with planes, so we come there late. Uh, so, uh, but uh, there were some friends of mine, and uh, of course you, you are close to them. So I, I didn't sp uh, spend so much uh, time in the big uh, beer fest events and so that they had there. So not all of us know what uh, Cloudfest is or what kind of a venue it is, the, the Europa Park. So what can you tell about the setting of Cloudfest for somebody who, who, who thinks about the big conference uh, uh, place? Lots of stands, uh, different uh, hardware vendors, software vendors. Uh, I mean, you saw all, all the big names there. I don't need to repeat those. But that's the same thing as in any conference. Yeah, I'm exactly. talking about uh, the, the outside setting. So I mean, I, I, I mean, it's an amusement park, but I didn't really see anything of it. So for me, it was just a normal setting, and then a big stage where some people were talking. So for those who are, are part of the cloud movement, it's a great conference. If you are just a developer, it's not the place to be. Thank you, Monty. Very good insights from uh, the Cloudfest. Thanks.